from rhinestonetemplates.com and I am going to make a, a little tutorial here for you on um, the embossing tool that we have built into WinPC and a lot of times you know we work with the EPS's in the um, different formats but we don't work with the JPEGs a whole lot in, in WinPC and we can and I've just grabbed a picture of um, a photo of some apples off one of my apple trees out in front of my house and um, I am going to show you how to take and actually emboss this and then you could use this for whatever format you wanted to in any of the other work that you do scrapbooking or um, any of the other stuff that you could you would do but um, you come underneath your your bitmap and I just enlarge my picture and you come underneath bitmap and this is in 2012 by the way um, come to your 3d special effects and I know that 2010 has some of these too but this is is I'm showing in in 2012 um, and just go to your emboss and in your embossing then my apples will show up here and you find out what depth you actually want to take with this how much embossing do you want to do or not do and I just kinda scroll through my bar and just kinda wait till it starts to show me the depth of the indentations and you can kinda see they're starting to show up faintly and through here the roundness of the apple is starting to show up so I still have a ways to go so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep increasing it and you can see that the the um, texture is getting deeper and here's the the little uh, stem, or not the stem, but the little bottom of the apple right there and you can see things are starting to show up and you just go ahead and work it you know where you want it to be or where, where you don't want it to be and stop there's no right or wrong and I kinda like this patina metallic -y look that it gets when you go just a little bit too far and it throws off some of the colors in here too and but you just what you're looking for is you want depth and texture in whatever you're doing almost like it's an embossed piece of paper where it's been stamped in and then you go ahead and you click your OK and then you come over to your apples and you go ahead and click on your apples and it will be doing its work and um, we'll just let it go ahead and and you know do its work and and when it's done and there it's done I moved it and it was done and it shows me um, on here it shows me my my twigs of the trees here the branches that the apples were on it shows me the leaves of the apples really well let's go ahead and and go in closer and you can actually see here's a leaf that's going over an apple but see how nice the definition comes in and all the different variations of the textures that you have and um, there's many different ways that you'd be able to use this if you wanted to but um, I just wanted to show you the embossing tool a little bit there's so much more to this program than what we use for rhinestones and there's so many other aspects to it that I just thought that would be good to show you. So um, play around with your embossing tool a little bit and get the good veining and the different things and the, the texture that you want and I think that um, I think you're going to be amazed at some of the different stuff that you can do.